More Than Homeless, this is a new public artwork that's coming to Bloomington. It's inspired by many individuals on the streets, but particularly the story of Crystal Banks. Crystal Banks was a homeless mother who spent many months on the streets. She came to um, see how people were seen when they were homeless. She said, when you're homeless, you get looked down upon. They don't even stop to understand your story. And that, that, that basic idea is what has inspired this project. The Shalom Center is a daytime resource center for people experiencing hunger, homelessness, and poverty. We provide all kinds of uh, resources to help people address those issues. We're very lucky to be working with, with Joe Lamantia. Joe is a, uh, a, a public artist, which is a unique skill set in, in of itself. And he brings to us 20 years of experience creating public art, creating it through a community process. He's very well known in the Bloomington community for creating such beautiful works of art as the guitar on the 7th Street parking garage, the cat in front of uh, one of our local elementary schools, and and the angel down the Beeline Trail. This is probably one of the most socially minded projects I've done. So what I had to do is think outside the box and I had to think about who would contribute to this project. And I went around the community. I went to Hoosier Hills Career Center and I've worked with them a lot. I thought it would be great to ask somebody from the Shalom Center. I was fortunate to, to meet an individual, Justice Edwards, he had some art experience and he sat down and just knocked out some, some drawings. He did some great graffiti lettering for the letters and he did a, a wonderful little house that is going to be at, at the top of, of the weather vane. I also want to mention Stonebelt, who's, who I've partnered with for maybe about 15 years. We're in the midst of winter, so this is a great opportunity to, to be able to work in a space. Uh, they've been so generous. Phase one of the project, I will call the heart shelter, and that's really the, the entity of the, the entire building of the structure. Right now I have all the materials, pretty much all the materials gathered. Right, by the time winter is over with, we should have all the parts done. Phase two is the window where we're going to have silhouettes, and we're having a photographer uh, who's working on photographing people at Shalom and using those photographs for the silhouettes and then we'll put the signage across and then the the, the birdhouses and and all the other uh, houses that that's phase three and i'm going to be working with somebody who will be working with the schools and stuff to prepare all that. So when you donate to this project and support it, your money, your support is going to create this public artwork. It's going to support the artists, it's going to support the, the construction of the, of the art itself. Um, but it's, it does that more than that as well. It's gonna become a, a permanent statement in our community about uh, reaching out to those in need, uh, about helping us see that people are more than homeless. So not only do you support a beautiful work of art, but you're supporting a an idea. This is uh, a an, an incredible time in our community to move forward with this project. And not only that, but there are a whole bunch of perks that come with uh, doing this, including having your name included uh, as part of the uh, project itself, uh, having a photograph associated with, with you uh, in, as part of the construction and, and more. So we really encourage you to be as generous as you can to bring this amazing project forward. We are coming together as the Bloomington community to show our heart for those experiencing homelessness. Uh, we encourage you to share this video and continue the conversation with your friends and family. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I know just who I am.